Welcome everyone, welcome to the show, welcome to Tech Condo. We are going to talk about PAs, PDAs, and how things are organized. Uh, I have here two systems uh, lined up for you. I will remove the iPad for a bit uh, because I will see your comments on the other way. Um, and of course, it's always free to you know ask questions during the show. Please do that. If you have remarks, etc., then that would be all, that would also be great. But first of all, let's uh, set the show. So today we are going to talk about these P, uh, PAs or PDAs, and that is not in the way that typically is done. So typically they're just uh, doing a versus uh, thing. Uh, but for, for me, it's actually a little bit different because I live in the Netherlands and both of these systems are not uh, supported in the Netherlands. So that means that somehow they will not, you know, you're not able to use them. Maybe you do, maybe you're not. And that is exactly what we're going to talk about uh, today in the show. And uh, I see your comments. I will talk to them after this intro and I'll see you soon. Hello and welcome to the show again. My name is Petra Verbruggen and uh, we are going to talk about these machines. Um, so the, again, to set the stage, uh, I bought these uh, systems in the US during my vacation. And uh, one of the reasons why I, I buy these things is just because, first of all, I'm interested in home automation, but I'm also interested in machine learning because, of course, at, at our work, that is something that we also are working on. So, well, not, not, not we are working with machine learning to to help us produce better machines that that's that's about it so um first of all let's go let's go into the the systems itself because uh, if you're from the netherlands you might have not seen them before and they are a little bit different so this is the google home and this is essentially a speaker so this the bottom half is a speaker uh, and is actually it, it it is a voice command so if i say like a keyword which is uh okay Hey, and then the brand, or hey, and then the brand, it will work. So if I would say, okay, Google, what's the time? The time is 9.02 p.m. All right, so it's 9.02 p.m. here in the Netherlands. So uh, that will work. And uh, this other device is what they call the uh, Amazon Echo Dot. Now, there is also uh, an Echo, which is like, here it's a bigger uh, system from the ground up where it has a full uh, uh, loudspeaker so it, it sounds better but this one is actually still doing the same thing but it's not that nice if it comes to the sound but it you know it works so alexa what is the time it's 902 p.m so uh, so you can see it, it'll actually respond to my uh, voice. And in the meantime, I do see your comments coming in. I will be talking about it. Just just give me a few seconds to uh, to get things organized. Um, but in the meantime, let me put on my uh, patrons because that is something that I don't want to forget. These guys pro uh, help support the show. Anyways, um, going back to, to these uh, machines, uh, these were both, again, uh, bought in, in, in the U.S. and they're not supported. Um, so if I, well, let, let's talk in Dutch for just one or two sentences and see w if they uh, work, okay? So, okay, Google, who laat is het? Sorry, I don't understand. Okay. Alexa, who laat is het? Hmm, I don't know that. Okay, so this is exactly the same question that I just did in the in, in English. What's the time? Uh, so that is one of the reasons, of course, that uh, Amazon and Google say, well, you know, you're, we're not uh, we're not capable of speaking Dutch at this moment or, 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 or understanding Dutch. So we're not doing that. 
at this moment. But it's a little bit awkward because if I would reverse it and say uh, to uh, Google, uh, hey Google, um, translate to Dutch, what is the time? Hoe laat is het? Boom. <laughs> that works. So that is a little bit of a strange thing. So um, let, let, let do, let's do some other, some other stuff. So if you're in the U.S. Uh, and uh, for instance, in the, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use the U.K. for now. So if you're in the U.K. and you're a soccer, uh, you love soccer, right? You love that and you want to have all the latest and greatest information. So um, Alexa, how did Manchester United play? Resuming Spotify. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Resuming Spotify. <laughs> Even with the lights uh, and the power Alexa, power. stop. We don't want to get removed from, from Facebook. Alexa, how did Manchester United play? Earlier today, Manchester United beat Crystal Palace 4-0 to zero in a Premier League match. Alexa, stop. So that works. Google, same thing. Okay, Google, how did Manchester United play? Today, Manchester United FC played Crystal Palace. The Alexa, final stop. Was All right, Google, stop. United FC. <laughs> All right, you got, you guys got it right. So, so that works. Now, the same thing, but then with a big Dutch soccer team. I mean, a big one, like in the top five. Alexa. How did PSV Eindhoven play? Hmm, I don't know that. Okay. Okay, Google. How did PSV Eindhoven play? PSV Eindhoven are leading Willem 2-3-0 in the second half. Of course, they're the best. Okay, so, that I mean, that is something that works, right? So, uh, somehow, Google is more capable of you know, figuring out what I'm interested in. So, if, uh, but before I go into a little bit further, I see so much uh, comments coming in that I need to go through them now um, because that is also important. Uh, let me go through the list. Um, uh, um, so Amy is also in the house and let's uh, show what she says. She says, Happy uh, Saturday, uh, Petra and Kermit. And Kermit is actually right there. He is uh, sitting on his uh, on his uh, couch. He was a bit a bit of a uh, he was a little bit um, aggressive just a few minutes ago. But I think that this is good for him that he is a bit aggressive before the show and not during the show. So uh, and uh, Amy says. Uh, oh my God, that that is not fair. The language translation only when it feels like it. It is definitely the case, Amy. It is really, really the case. So yeah, so so that is something that um, you know which which works, but not the way that I would love to uh, to to work. Right. Um, the other thing is is that um, you can actually teach Google something. For instance, if I would go to Alexa again, Alexa, what is my cat's name? Kitties are so sweet. I would guess your cat's name is Fluffy or Pickles or is it Midnight? Whatever it is, I hope that kitty is doing well. He's lying. Okay, that is an answer, but it's not the answer that I was looking for. So, hey Google, what is my cat's name? You told me that your cat's name is Kermit. You told me that your cat's name is Kermit. So that I love. That is, uh, it's learning something. Uh, another thing what, what, what I'm very interested in is that actually, even though I'm not in a supported country, it actually knows what the weather's like here. So, hey Google, what's the weather like here? Right now in Venray, it's 53 and partly cloudy. The forecast tonight is 52 and clear with periodic clouds. Okay, it's not the best weather, but you know, it's working. I can actually also ask him, ask uh, Google to do that in Celsius. Hey Google, what's the weather like here today in Celsius? 
In Venray tonight, it's predicted to be 11 degrees Celsius and clear with periodic clouds. Right it? now, it's 12 and partly cloudy. All right. Alexa, this, this is going to be funny. Alexa, what's the weather like here today? Currently, in Dusseldorf, it's 54 degrees with cloudy skies. Tonight, Dus you can expect cloudy skies moving in and out with a low of 46 degrees. Alexa, stop. Okay, so Alexa thinks I'm in Dusseldorf. Why does she think that? Because that's the nearest city to Venray, which is in Germany. Okay, which is, of course, cool if you're in Germany, but, you know, that's the way it is. But that is that is really funny. Um, so uh, let me see if there are some comments coming. Nope, not yet. Let me check this here. No, all right, well, we'll, we'll wait. Okay. Anyways, that those are a few things. Um, so so that's interesting. Um, now, bottom line, Google is much more capable. I'm going to do something which I probably should not do too long, but there's something funny going on between those two, because I can actually ask them, ask both of them to play something from Spotify. But there's something which is happening there, which I really like. So, okay, Google. Play something from Spotify. Sure, here's some music on Spotify. Okay, Google, stop. Even if the okay, Google, stop. Okay, now watch what happens. Alexa, play something from Spotify. Resuming Spotify. Okay, Alexa, stop. Same song. It's exactly the same song, and it actually stops for uh, uh, at uh, Google Home and uh, resumes at Alexa, which I like. I mean, that's it doesn't matter where you are; it just works. So you can also use it to, you know, uh, control these lights, for instance. Now, I can say I'll I'll, I'll use the other keyword. So, echo, echo, st stop. Uh, no, sorry, echo, uh, shut down studio lights or uh, switch off studio lights. And it will actually lower it down and I can also switch on studio lights, which is awesome. Why? Because I typically come into the studio with my laptop, this laptop in my hand. So I then I have to uh, get the switch and do all, all kind of things. And now I can just walk in, say it and boom, it's all on. It's a small thing, but it's, you know, it's really cool. Now, um, I actually made a video of this because if I would do this uh, now, um, it's not only the lights that will go down, because actually that would be a very cool ending of the show. So uh, Echo uh, stops studio lights and then boom, everything is dark and then the stream ends. But that's not how it works at this moment because it's also connected to the internet router. Because of security reasons, I want to uh, minimize my, my router to be online. So that is the reason why I put it on that switch. But I have a video to show you that it actually really works. So um, let's do that. Let's uh, show it here. So this is the part that I'm not able to do during the show. Alexa, turn on studio lights. Okay. Okay, Google, turn off studio lights. Okay, turning off the studio lights. So see, that, that is really cool. I, I, I think, I, I like it very much. So I wonder what, what you guys think about it. <laughs> uh, at least I think it's cool. Um, so let's see, I know that there are some comments coming in. Let's do that. Um, poof. So Amy says, wow, Alexa needs a ge ge geography le lesson. It sure does. But in all fairness, Alexa, <laughs> it's reacting to my voice. I'll call out Echo now. Alexa, stop. So Echo. Um, I pronounce Echo. Echo. <laughs> okay, funny. Um, so Echo <laughs> um, actually is not supported here. So in all fairness, 
he or she doesn't actually have to know anything, right? Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a little bit awkward. The thing is that for Spotify, for instance, it, it is also something which is really interesting is that it actually didn't work for me to get Spotify on that system. And I actually needed to do a um, workaround, which I'm going to show you in a, in a few seconds. Yep, here it is. Uh, let me show it right now. So remove this, get that in. Oh, wrong one. That one. Nope. Of course, I have to. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is on the Amazon um, uh, website. And uh, what you need to do is if you want to get Spotify working in a non-supportive uh, country, you actually need to go to your uh, your uh, account. Hopefully, that, yeah, you can see it. And then go to um, my account. Okay, your account. And then you need to go to digital content and devices and click on um, content and devices, the third option. Okay, I hope that it works. Uh, okay, good. Uh, then uh, you click on your devices and then you see that the Petrus Echo Dot is part of that and my iPhone is also part of that. But there's also settings, and here is the, the 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 strangest thing is that I actually my my current country is United States, but when I ask what the weather is, it actually states Dusseldorf, so it is a kind of like a weird combination that is going on here, and but that is part of the the the, the, the problem if it's not supported that you have to do all kinds of workarounds to get things organized and to get things working, but. Uh, with Google, it is much better. It actually works like the, like a charm. I actually haven't had anything not working with it. So it, for me, it doesn't matter what it is. The only thing what's not working, of course, is that if I would speak Dutch to it, it would not understand me. But I, I speak English like almost like 70% of the day anyway. So for me, it's like a second... No, a second nature to me. So that is kind of like like a thing that 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 is a little bit awkward. Um, but that that's that's you know that's the way it is. I, I think. So let me see if there are some uh, some comments coming in that uh, because. Um, yep, there we go. So uh, Jordan says I am learning to build an Alexa skill. Now that's right. Good, good point, uh, Jordan. So what you can do with Alexa is that you can actually let it learn how to do things. So for instance, I know that in the, in the States that, that a company has created a, 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 a skill, what they call it, like a small app that allows you to lock your car remotely. So you then just say, uh, Alexa, lock my car. Hmm, I'm not sure. Of course, but it doesn't work for me. But it, that is the way that you can do it. And you can, uh, you can do all kinds of other stuff as well. You can also give it, uh, the, for instance, say you want to add something to your shopping cart. Um, Alexa, add to my list bacon. I added bacon to your shopping list. Okay. Add to my list. Alexa? Add to my list. What should I add? Bacon. I added bacon to your shopping list. Okay. Alexa, uh, add to my shopping list eggs. I've put eggs on your shopping list. Alexa, what is my shopping list? You have three items on your shopping list. Eggs, bacon, bacon. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> so that that works, and the same thing works for for Google. Uh, you have to trust me on that one. Um, let me see. Um, so uh, Jordan, uh, sorry. Oops. Here we go. Amy says I I use Spotify with my Echo Dot. It works well. Yes, it does. The only thing is, uh, uh, Amy, is that are you using your Echo Dot with your um, 
your hi-fi system at home because that is also possible with this uh, thing is that there's uh, with this system is that you can actually uh, hook it up to your uh, hi-fi system and then have a good sound that is the use case of this um, small device now the, th the next thing that I want to talk to you about is what's next right so uh, I've been looking around and I have found out that of course last week the echo family just increased dramatically so uh, if i look at that um, then you'll see that um, we besides the echo dot we also now have the new and improved echo what's what they say uh, essentially it's a smaller echo than the, the previous one so it's 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 like the, as big as the google home roughly then you have got the new Echo Plus, which is actually the same size as the old Echo. And the Echo Spot, which is, I think, one of the, the nicest ones that they have, is that it's a very small um, device, which has a very small uh, screen that you can use for, uh, you know, giving some, you know, like contents that, that, is, that are really relevant for you, like the weather in this picture, but it can also be something else. And you, and you also see that there's more Echo uh, products than there are for Google. But that is not necessarily the case anymore because uh, I believe this week or next week, uh, they will also have a um, an event where they will uh, also talk about new products. Uh, one of the products is a phone, which is the Pixel 2, which I'm not going to talk about it today. But they will also probably, and this is a picture, I'm not 100% sure that this is correct and accurate. But there is an idea that they will have kind of like the same form factor than the Google Dot, starting at $50 compared to $120, which is a lot of money, of course. And... That so that might be very interesting because this these these fifty dollar uh, devices you can just put in different areas in your in your house. The my Google Home, I I really like it. So I re I like it so much that I actually put it into my living room, and this one is actually in my studio, and I also like it there as well. Would I recommend it? Well, fifty dollars, and if it's only for home automation in the Netherlands, I would definitely recommend this for home automation. For real PA stuff, eh, not so much. This one I will do. Um, of course, that is that might be totally different if you live in the uh, US or UK or Germany or you know where these uh, objects are uh, supported. Then that might be another reason. But this is what I think from a Dutch perspective. And I think that Belgium will be roughly the same. Um, so that's that's about it if, if it comes to, to, to these uh, uh, devices. And I, I, again, I really like it. And uh, I am very much uh, looking forward uh, to, to seeing more of these uh, coming. And actually, in all honesty, the spot is something that I really, really like. So, yeah. Um, let me see what we have here. So uh, Jordan uh, just mentioned that uh, Google Home also uh, built, has built actions. And my dad says um, API protocol also supported. Good question. Don't know, but there is a way to, uh, there is a developer uh, community out there. That's what I know. But I will look into that uh, later today and uh, come back to you on that one. Sorry, yeah, that. And uh, Jordan says Echo has one uh, has one with the touch screen. Yes, yeah, so that would be the Echo Show, and that is a big uh, touch screen. And the use case of those touch screens is actually also voice. Uh, sorry, uh, video phones. So that is uh, the use case of that. Um, well, that is roughly what I had in store for today. Um, I Just one last round of comments. So um, my dad says home automation requires the highest protection. That is absolutely the case. Uh, what he means by that is that the, you know, security, especially if it comes to... Um, 
um, you know, locking your house and opening windows, slow closing windows, that kind of thing, Pro uh, you know, protection is really important. And especially in crowded cities like, you know, like in Europe, we really need to be careful with uh, that kind of thing. Um, Paul Dixon says, you can create a personal assistant using Google's stuff with your Raspberry Pi. Oh, thank you, Paul. I didn't know that. That might be interesting. So I, I okay, interesting, interesting. I, I will definitely look at in, into that as well. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, one, one last uh, chance to to do some some uh, questions and answers, and then we can wrap things up. Um, anyways, uh, what I really would like to to again thank you before I leave the show. These guys over here have tremendously helped me with uh, this show. If you want to support the show, go ahead and type support into the comments and then you you will get a url for the patreon page so that you can look at it on your own convenience uh that would be much appreciated if you at least have a check if you can do that like five dollars a month is perfect it doesn't have to be every month do it whenever you feel that 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 it's it's a good uh, when it's possible if not uh you know uh we're all we're all uh, friends no problem it's all all good <laughs> so don't worry about it um also i'd like to just give you a quick heads up again that we actually have a website uh which is right here uh this website is created paul paul dixon who is in the in the the, the community is also in the, the chat at this moment so uh he made a fantastic website um with all the, the latest uh, information on the shows um but also uh you can uh, watch it live so if I click on live, you can actually see me with a little bit of a delay uh, play, uh, uh, talking about it here. Um, there is no comments there yet at this moment, uh, but that will come at a later stage. We are working on it, but you know everything needs a little bit uh, of time. Uh, Kona Chronicle is the newsletter that uh, I distri distribute every single Sunday. Um, and uh, I will just give you some URLs of that we were talking about, give you some additional information. Uh, maybe I forget something during the show that I can put in there as well. And there will also be some links to the next show, which will be next week, uh, of course. And the the of course the support, which is to uh, the link to uh, the Patreon page. Um, so next week. Uh, it's the first Saturday of the month, and that means that we will have two things. One, uh, every first Saturday of the month, I will do a like a news wrap up. So I will take the content of the previous month and uh, talk about you know give you like a, like a, a small summary so that you don't lose uh, a lot of uh, time uh, looking at all the other. Uh, um, episodes but also look forward to new releases etc so that you're up and running with that and then the, the, the show after that we will probably have like a review or something so uh, that is the way that i want to do it every uh, first saturday of the month i want to have like a like a news roundup so that you are all uh you know back to the what is going on and what is the 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 the, the, the status etc um also Next Saturday is going to be the first Saturday of the month, and that means that we will have a, uh, a community call, uh, a condo conversation, as we call it, where we can together geek out and see each other and talk about all kinds of different things that we like to talk about. And if you are a patron of $10 or up, then you uh, get access to that chat. And it would be great of you to be there. I, I would really like to see you guys, see you guys, and hang out with you, and just talk about whatever you want to talk about. And I'm totally fine to give you some behind the scenes, etc. So that is something that uh, we can do next week as well. Final round of comments. Let's uh, have a look. Um, 
here we go. So Jordan says, uh, Alexa can do that too. That is a reaction to what uh, Paul said, I think. Uh, and Paul says, need to decide on a common system for the site. Oh, that's right, Paul. Great. Um, so the, uh, the idea is we can do a standard common system or we can use IRC. If you love that, that's a little bit old school and you you know like to use that as a chatting system, we can totally integrate that on our website. But you know, you are part of the, the of the community. So if you would like to participate and say something, then put in IRC or chat below so that we know which one to take. And then we'll uh, you know, whenever we Get the time to, to, to do this we will uh, talk about it so again chat is the normal chat function and irc irc is the uh, all, uh, the other uh, thing jordan uh, says the chat is a lot of fun definitely and also i like to th that that we actually have the comments and uh, i don't know if you've seen it but it's already more automated than it was uh, previously so i'm making some improvements already so that is uh, great anyways that is it for today um uh, and uh, i really really like um to thank you again and let me uh, make sure that everything is great um oh one more thing because i got that question last uh, last week as well so let me just give you one quick reminder how you can get notified uh and get reminders so one thing you can say subscribe in uh, in the comments then you will go through uh, the the messenger system and there you can also opt in for uh the mailing list by providing the email address just follow the instructions it will go well uh that is one thing that you can do but you can also go into the comments of, of a facebook and then do it there so like this so you go into the uh um the the comments and you click uh, sorry the, the the post and you click on a uh, reminder and then you get it or alternatively you click on like and go to uh, following click on the notifications pencil there you go that pencil and then you go to videos and then hit all videos there you will get the notification of all the videos that i bring out and don't worry it is not like every single day it's just like three times a week that i go well i go live once uh, a week at least but typically it's going to be once or twice and maybe in the future twice uh, and also your mail list is not going to be more than three times a week that's my promise because i know i hate it when it's every day so the same thing would go for everyone i think i hope so let's see that's the show for now. I hope that you liked it, and I'll see you next week.